something deep here. Something deep. There we go. There we go. Come on. Something big, probably two. Some iron. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a big root down there. Oh, man. I just flip it out. I think I may have just flipped it out. I don't know. It could still be in the hole too, that's actually amphibio. It does that right there, some nut, screw and a nut, and a couple washers. Stainless steel, baby. I'll keep it. Make it over this big tree over here where I found the Indian the other day. junk there. Some junk. I think it's right on the surface. Might be getting ripping nails up and right on the surface. Yeah, just a nail. Ooh, this roots. Big root down there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one's gonna be might be a tough one. Oh yeah. It's there's a big root there from this big tree. And it kind of sounds junky anyway. Maybe some foil right on the surface. Yeah, I might not be able to find this one. Because um just know the amphibio. I might not be able to find it. right there some foil nail some foil right there I see it the foil right there Oh yeah, man. Oh, it's overloading on something. Oh, that's how I see it, right on the surface. Some kind of capacitor or something. Yeah, it's a capacitor for some kind of electronics. Maybe an old radio or something. So like about the amphibio, man. It's durable, man. I have almost 2,000 hours on this machine and I've been treating it like this the whole time I've had it. Never broke it on me, man. Super durable machine, right? And it's got some weight to it so you can use it as a, a weed eater, right? 
I don't have to worry about breaking my coil off or breaking my shaft. Oh, this is deep. Go to four tones. Two tone. Three tone. I'm going for it. It's gonna be deep, deep. It could be some foil on the surface because the amphibio does trick you with foil on the surface like that. It reads up high. So like about the Equinox, man, you cannot get foil to read up high on the Equinox, man. It's deep, deep, deep. That's good. It's a good thing. It's off the side, probably a nail. Right there. Oh, there's some roots down there too. Go easy with it. Might be something big too though. I don't think it's gonna be something big though. And it is out, I think. No. It's gonna be a nail. Yep, it's right there, I see it. A little bit of iron. Yep. Ouch. Hey, see? You can do that without breaking the amphibio, man. It's just so durable. It's rugged, man. It's meant for hunting relics, man. And relic hunting is hard work, man. There's nothing like climbing through a forest and having your machine break on you. That machine will not break on you, man. I've taken that thing through some of the thickest brush you've ever seen in your life. I've hunted in the tallest grass you've ever hunted in. And it has never broken on me, man. I swing this thing around like a madman. I mean, you can, you know, you can beat this machine up and it will not break, man. Unlike some other metal detectors out there, like the Equinox, you know, if you do that a couple times, you're gonna have a broken detector or a broken shaft. I can guarantee you it. Not very many times you can do that to the Equinox and it will break. And if you disagree with me, you probably haven't run the Equinox very much. <laughs> and, and when you're hunting through the forest, through the thick brush, you gotta do that stuff or it's gonna take you forever to find targets, man. You know, when you're hunting like this, you know, it just takes so much more time, so much more time to move all your stuff away. If, you ha if you're if you doing it as you go, as you're sweeping, you know, getting this stuff out of the way there, as you're going, you can get a lot more targets extracted out per day. You know, like right here, I want, I want to be the closest to the ground as I can, and I can just push that away with my amphibio, you know? I was doing that same thing with my simplex. All this stuff here was right next to the tree and I popped an Indian out right there. Just, I go like this, just clearing it out with your detector first, you know? Yep. 
little bit of iron there. See, watch. See? It's cleared out. It's cleared out. And every second counts when you're metal teching, man. When you have to hike a long way into a, a forest or you only have a, a few hours to dig, you know, every second counts, man. Or you can only hunt on the weekends. You know, you gotta pick the spots that are gonna produce for you. And sometimes those spots are hard to get to. It's a junker. I'm gonna go over here. I really haven't hunted too much out by the road right here. Yeah. Uh, on the other side. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.